there, my name's Paulie and welcome to this video. In this video we're going to talk about how we can make learning guitar easier for beginners. Now in the time that I've been teaching guitar, I've come to realise there are some barriers that seem to come up time and time again. And hopefully in this video I can show you ways to get around those barriers. And those barriers are, my fingertips are hurting. I can't play these chords because I can't push the strings down properly. I can't play these chords because I can't reach the strings. And lastly, more often than not, their instruments are way out of tune. So if they actually fretted a chord properly and strummed it correctly, it'd still sound awful. So what can we do to avoid these pitfalls? Well, the very first thing you can do is buy yourself a guitar tuner for about $15 or $20. Failing that, and you have a smartphone, you can always download guitar tuning apps to your smartphone and use it as a guitar tuner. Some are better than others, and it's just a matter of trial and error. A lot of them are free, so go for and it. Every time you pick up your guitar, check the tuning. So what is the easiest guitar to play? Because the easiest guitar to play would generally be the easiest guitar to learn to play on. Well, in general, the electric guitar is easier to play than either a nylon string acoustic or a steel string acoustic guitar. The problem with an electric is it lacks portability and also if you have floating bridges and things like that on your instrument, it uh, makes it harder to tune. So out of the acoustic guitars, meaning a nylon string and a steel string, which is easier to play, well that's debatable. And it's debatable because it depends on how big your hands are. If you're a really big person who has big hands, you may find a nylon string easy to play because generally nylon strings have wider, fatter necks, which would suit a larger hand a lot better. But if you have smaller hands and you want to play an acoustic, I would suggest getting a steel string acoustic. And if you find the strings too hard to press down, change them over to electric guitar strings as electric guitar strings are a lot softer, suppler, easier to bend, easier to press down. Something like 9s to 42s or 10 to 46s or something like that. So no matter which guitar you actually have, whether it's an electric, a steel string acoustic, a steel string acoustic with electric guitar strings on it or a nylon string, if you are still having problems actually fretting notes to make open chords, I've got a little trick for you that should help you out. So I'll need a guitar to show you. Ah, so now that I have a guitar, I'm going to need a capo. Ah, here's the capo. Capos can be as little as two or three dollars or as much as twenty or thirty dollars. And they're all slightly different. Some have different mechanisms and different ways that they work. And generally they all work, but some work better than others. And we're going to need this capo so that we can do an exercise to improve our chances of playing an open chord when we're having difficulties playing open chords because we can't reach. So what we need to do is look along the neck of the guitar. And what we notice is the closer we get to the body, the closer the frets are together. This means that we don't have to reach as much. Although the neck does get slightly wider, I think this is negligible compared to the distance between the frets. And for small hands, I think that this, this little tip will be really handy. So what we need to do is place our capo somewhere higher up on the neck and proceed to attempt to play the chord that we're having problems with further up the neck. Because the frets are closer together, it should be a little easier. And because our arm will actually be straighter, not out here, and for a small child, their wrist will be at a fairly significant angle to actually play chords out here. So if they're closer in and their arm is straighter, they should have a little bit more strength. And we can proceed to play our G chord, which will actually be a C in this situation due to where we're fretting it. So once we nail that, you can proceed to move the, the capo down a couple of frets and repeat, repeat the process. 
Once you get a handle on that, you can keep moving it down. Of course, every time you fret it in a different place, it will be a different chord. It'll, in that inst instance, it was an A. And then eventually you get down to the nut, where you should be able to play it properly with maybe a small amount of difficulty, but nothing like you had before. And that's my big tip for getting around those reachy problems. As for the sore fingers, lighter gauge strings or electric guitar strings on your acoustic guitar should be really handy to stop those sore fingers or at least reduce the soreness and allow your muscles a chance to actually build up some strength. To go from nothing to playing an acoustic guitar with steel strings is a pretty tall order. You know, it requires a fair bit of strength and even people who play for a long time fatigue quite quickly with some acoustic guitars with steel strings on them. So I hope you found this video informative and enlightening. I hope I've helped somebody out. Please let me know in the comments below uh, whether I've helped you out or not. And don't hesitate to subscribe. I make new videos about guitar, about all sorts of things to do with guitar all the time. So if you're interested, subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. I'll catch you later. Have a good day.